The first new feature is the ability to convert a photo of a table directly into Excel. We've had this in our phone, now this is built into desktop Excel. I'm going to bring up a picture of a photo table right here. There's a screenshot of some of my students from the office and their test scores. Now I'm going to import this photo into Excel and convert it into a usable table. Go to the data tab and you'll see a new from picture choice here. Drop that down and I'm going to choose picture from file. Here's my picture right here. Select it and click insert. On the right hand side you're going to see it's converting and preparing. Now here is everything that it automatically found right here. You can review this if you want. In this case, I'm just going to choose insert data and I'm just going to say insert anyway. And there we go. It inserts all of my data right here. Now I can select it, filter it, turn it into a table or whatever else I want. The second new feature is a new function called image. This allows you to bring in pictures directly into your Excel table really easily. I have my employees here from the office. And in this case, I want to pull in a photo for Michael Scott. So first I'm going to do equals image. And that's the new function and then open parentheses and a quote. Now I'm going to go grab a URL to this image. Here's a bunch of pictures. I'll click on this one. Now I'm going to right click and choose copy image link right here in the browser and I'll switch back to Excel. Now I'll paste that link, control V, do it end quote and close parentheses and hit enter. It quickly pulls in that photo and then if I hover, I get the full picture in a bigger form. So it's very easy to pull images in. The third new feature is improved pivot table recommendations for any table that you might have. In this case, I've got a set of data here, and this is going to use the same AI as the analyze data feature for those of you that have seen that, but we've brought that into the pivot table recommendations. So if I click insert and I choose recommended pivot tables here, on the right hand side, you're going to see a much improved set of recommendations. So here's a recommendation unit price and quantity and stock unit price by factory location and inventory ID and you can scroll down and see more recommendations. I can even choose show all six results at the bottom and I get even more options. On any of the options I can choose new sheet or existing sheet. I'm going to choose new sheet here and it quickly creates a pivot table right here and on the right hand side I can change it around, add filters, do whatever I want with the normal pivot table type of options. This is a great time saver and gives you a lot more options. For those of you that aren't quite comfortable with pivot tables, having the recommended tables makes it way easier. The fourth new feature is auto refresh for stock quotes. Stock quotes have been popular in Excel, but historically you had to go and update that refresh manually yourself. So I have a set of stock symbols here and I'm going to select these. I'll go to the data tab and then choose stocks. This converts these into the stock data type and I can go here and choose the different things I want so I'll add a few really quick. Now I've updated my stock price information and this has already existed. Now if I right click and go down to data type, I'm going to choose refresh settings. Open this and then expand. Now automatically it's set to go for every five minutes. Historically it was manually so this new refresh option says automatically refresh every five minutes. I can also set it to on the opening of the file if you want as well. So these data type refresh settings give you more options to quickly update any of your stock data. The fifth new feature is an option to always leave leading zeros in when you enter numbers. For example, if I'm entering an employee number for Michael Scott and I do 0043, when I hit enter, by default it always removes those leading zeros. There are some cases where you want to always leave those leading zeros in and there's an option to set it as a default all the time in Excel now. So I'm going to go into the file menu. Now go down and choose options at the bottom. Then choose advanced. If you scroll down, you're going to see a new place here, automatic data conversion. And it says beta. So this is for Office Insiders right now. So you need to be an Office Insider. There's a link in the description if you want to sign up for that. Right now, by default, it says remove leading zeros. I'm going to uncheck this. And now I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to go back to Michael Scott here and delete this and now I'm going to do 0043 and when I hit enter it's going to leave those leading zeros and if Dwight Schrute is 0056 same thing now I can always have those leading zeros left in by default. The sixth new feature are hyperlink support in comments. Let's say I've got a sheet here and I'm going to comment on the inventory value being really low right here. If I go to the review tab now I can say new comment. In the past, we didn't support hyperlinks for these comments, but now we do. So now I can leave a quick comment. 
In my comment, I've added a hyperlink right here, aka.msTPS reports. This is a live link, so I can add this here. And now this is a clickable hyperlink. The seventh new feature is manage protection updates in Excel for the web. I have a spreadsheet here and I want to protect certain parts of it. I'm going to go to the review tab and over on the right you'll see manage protection. Click this to open and now I can have an option to protect the sheet. We'll turn this on. I can expand here and have password protection. I can lock specific ranges. So in this case I'm going to add a range and we'll select the inventory right here, that range, and hit save. Now you can see right here that this range is locked so other people can't change it. I can password protect my sheet here as well and there are other options at the bottom so lots of different options to control the protection of your specific sheet. So I don't want people to delete columns or delete rows and maybe I don't want them to format rows or columns either. And so I'm going to check those on. Now the web has many of the same options that Excel Desktop has when it comes to protecting your sheet. The eighth new feature is automatic alt text support is now generated in Excel charts or pivot table charts when using Narrator. Narrator is built into Windows and designed for blind or low vision users. I'm going to launch Narrator right now. Narrator heading level 1. Welcome to Narrator. Now Narrator is enabled. In the past, when I clicked on a chart, I wouldn't get any useful information. So what I'll do is click on this chart here. Chart 1, Chart, Clustered Column, Titled Dunder Mifflin Sales. Data Range A1B17, Add Element Available, Styles Available, Data Layout Available. This makes it much more handy for folks who maybe they forgot to label their charts or their pivot charts. Someone using Narrator can easily and automatically get some alt text to help describe what's going on. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.